Received this guitar from the ear company for review. So this is my first commission review of a guitar in my life. So first of all, thank you to the guys from ear for sending me this guitar to review. I have said many times before I am a big fan of this brand for many reasons. So first of all, <clears throat> let's talk about the instrument from the body. The finish in this instrument is a satin finish. You can feel the grain of the wood, but you can also tell that there's a coating and it's some sort of uh, light cherry burst. That grain of the wood is very visible. You can even feel it, so it's not like a thick uh, poly coating and it feels amazing. I really like this finish very much. Moving on to the hardware. The hardware I would say is like good quality. It's not um, it's not the best hardware that I've seen. When I'm talking about hardware I'm talking about the metals, the pieces of metal that comprise the bridge, maybe this part right here, this part right here. <clears throat> it is good quality. It is, there's nothing that screams at you cheap. There's a very special section here, um, which is uh, where uh, you could see the jack. They put a three ply um, square. Uh, it's kind of nice. Uh, it looks a little bit roughly finished, but it's, it's kind of nice. Um, then you have this pick guard over here. Nothing amazing about it, just simple pick guard. Moving on to the pickups. The pickups in this instrument are very, very good in my experience. So <clears throat> they have like a modern tone so, sort of thing, meaning that you can hear all the frequencies. You can hear the low frequencies, you can hear the high frequencies, you can hear the mid frequencies. It feels very balanced with uh, like a shine to it. Now, where this guitar really, really shines is at the knobs. Given that you have pickups that have so much uh, coverage, um, unlike, you know, uh, PFA or like vintage pickups that have like a mid-rangey tone, sort of uh, low uh, warmth, but um, not much uh, high-end definition, which you would get <clears throat> that chime from a single coil, but usually not from a humbucker, unless you're paying more money. Um, you get that full range of guitar tone, but this tone up is magic. It's so good. What do I mean by that? You could pull out a lot of tones out of this tone up right here. This is for the neck pickup. Um, yeah, from the beginning, you roll it down and you're gonna get many, many tones. I would say when I put it about a two, 
I get that that jazzy tone that I could expect from a 335 guitar. But when I put it all the way up, it's this modern tone. It almost feels like a single coil, but beefier, but not quite a, a P90. So some different tone, I would, I call this like a modern humbucker tone. Uh, moving on to the fretboard. So the fretboard is supposed to be rosewood, but I, I'm not sure. I got this guitar and I'm still to get the specs from it. Um, I would assume it's rosewood. I don't know for sure, but um, it is beautiful. It's a beautiful grain pattern. It looks like a reddish wood. It does have some sort of coating, which makes it uh, more resistant to weather changes. And again, what you would expect from these guys at ear uh, guitars, they have produced this beautiful, beautiful, perfect frets with perfect endings, no fret sprout, perfectly level. You can get a fantastic action out of this guitar. Moving on to the um, neck. So it's a comfortable modern, kind of like thin, but it's not really thin, but for a 335 is like this comfortable D shape that is uh, easy to play. It's very easy to play. I would compare this to the action on out of all of the guitars that I review, um, not the action, but the neck profile, it feels kind of like that very nice uh, best choice products, Red 335 that I reviewed. Um, it's similar to that. It's similar to a growth 335 style guitar. Uh, the red ones, not the sunburst that I, that I reviewed. Very comfortable, but this feels, I would say it feels better quality. Um, one thing for sure that is good about this fretboard, about this neck, is that, as I said, the, the whole guitar has this like natty, not nice satin finish, and yeah, for the first time at 335, you know, you can feel the wood, you know, you don't have to feel all of that lacquer and all of that polyurethane finish in it. Moving on to the um, to the um, tuners. So the tuners are good quality. They get the job done. I don't have much specifications on them. Uh, they don't look very expensive. They don't look all that great, but they do work fine. And I can tell you the guitar holds tuned pretty well. I tuned it yesterday. I received this yesterday. And there's been a snowstorm in New York City. This guitar came literally frozen, frozen. When I pulled it out of the, bowl, the box, it, it started sweating, you know, all of this humidity that it had been gathering for a while. And yeah, it was it was terrible, you know, the fact that this the instrument has been through these harsh weather conditions. But I didn't even let it sweat. Immediately, I uh, tuned it up and just started playing and it works fine. I have not gone over um, intonation. I think the intonation is um, I think the intonation is good as of right now, especially for a guitar that you, you just received. But what's most surprising is that the action was just perfect, spot on. Uh, one thing to mention is that this guitar has a bone nut, perfectly well cut, and it has this interesting, um, right here, it has this very interesting truss rod adjustment. I don't know how this works. It looks like it's just a cap that you pop out and then you adjust the truss rod. Unlike all of the other trust, uh, all the other uh, guitars that have the truss rod adjustment here at the neck, this one has it back at the headstock. To be expected on a 335. Um, it is, um, um, it has a uh, white binding all across. And um, I must say that the um, things that I um, were not that good about this instrument are, uh, for example, it came with a few scratches. 
one over here and one over here. Um, what else? Uh, this, I, I would like to have a different color, you know, I would like to have a red color instead of a uh, cherry sunburst, but this is beautiful, so I'm definitely keeping this guitar. If they put it up for sale on Amazon, when they do that, I will most likely get myself a red one, because that's my 335. Um, I will do some upgrades to this guitar, and I could tell you what, they're mostly cos cosmetic. I will change these knobs for maybe some nicer looking, maybe um, silver or like um, gold or maybe some other color. Um, I will uh, change this pickguard to a white pickguard because I like the combination of uh, a sunburst and a white pickguard. And I will add some electronics, so I will put on this guy um, a uh, cache. Uh, Piezo pickup and I will split these coils. I will add a switch over here to split the coil. I would usually put uh, a um, push pull knob to do that, but since these pots are so good quality, I do not want to do that. I want to keep my pots. Plus, the two leads to do the coil split are right here. You can see them. I already pulled them out, they're right there, so it's going to be very easy to create that, um, that thing. So um, I hope you like this review. I do not know as of right now yet what the price of this guitar will be or um, what other specs it has. This wood, I don't know if, if the neck is a roasted um, neck like they use on all of the other Strat and all the, all the other instruments. I don't know if the fretboard is rosewood. I don't, I can tell you for sure that the uh, frets are stainless steel and it's a, it's a fantastic fret job like they do in all of their other guitars, so that's for sure. Um, and I can tell you that the pots are alpha pots and everything is good quality. Everything inside this baby is good quality. Center block, as you would expect on a 335. Cannot tell you what the ratio of the tuners is. Um, I could tell a bone nut from a mile away, so this is a bone nut. And um, depending on what price this comes to, I, I spoke with the guys at Ear Guitars. They told me it's going to be 329 I think that for 329 this guitar is a winner. I would say it's hard to get something like this from a, um, I don't know, who else sells, sells guitars about around this price point. Growth guitars, I would say this is a step up, a growth guitar. I would say this is a step up from... Uh, Ibanez ART guitars. I would even say, look, I had um, some um, Golden guitars. Um, this is up to par with a Golden guitar and actually superior in a few things uh, and maybe not as good in other things. So I would consider this instrument by a nudge very close to a thousand dollar guitar. Um, Things that don't match up are like, I think the spit guard is a little bit messy. I think um, these knobs are a little bit cheap. And I think the tuners could look a little bit nicer, although they do work fine. And I think the finish, or at least the, it shouldn't come with scratches if you're paying a thousand dollars. So for $329, you're definitely getting your money's worth. I think up to $700, you're getting your money's worth if this guitar was $700. Um, I hope they can lower the price so they can really be competitive because the market for these instruments is around $200. Although this by far beats all of the other 335 cheap copies that I've reviewed up to this point. I would even say this is a contendent and I would prefer it over my uh, Gretsch Semi-Holo guitars. I prefer this over my Gretsch Semi-Holo that I review in this channel. And um, by far, yeah, it's just, just a different guitar. It feels as solid, as reliable, and uh, it's just better.
right, definitely. When this guitar comes out, I uh, hope to put a link on the description. Um, I don't have the guitar model yet, but it really, really uh, is going to be a fantastic instrument when it comes out. Um, best 335 that I have tried, copy that's going to be on Amazon so far. Better than my Gretsch, better than all of my uh, growth guitars, better than... Um, I have not tried the Ibanez Art Core Series, but uh, uh, if the price is 320 something, it should be closer to that uh, category. So, amazing instrument. Thank you for watching. And I hope this review helped you choose and make an informed purchase decision. Thank you.